So we're solving simultaneous equations by elimination. And first off, I want you to consider the system of linear equations 2x minus 5y equals 12, and 2x plus 20y equals negative 18. So I've written down, and you're going to copy, that uh, we could have solved these simultaneously by substitution. Okay, so by rearranging one of them for x and substituting it into the other equation. What we want to do is to find an easier way. All right, so let's get it written down, and then we will work through it together, and then you can try a few. All right, so we're going to solve. We will. Your battery yeah. device is low, but it's not good. We will solve by, yes, elimination. Now, what this means is that, i.e., we will either eliminate the x variable or the y variable. And there's a very specific way that you do this, okay? And it starts off by having the two equations written one above the other. So looking at our two equations, is there any way that we could eliminate either the x's or the y's by doing something to both of them? Sienna? Um, I don't know, but like you could subtract 2x and you both have 2x. Right, exactly. Okay, that's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take our top equation and we're going to subtract from it the bottom equation, okay? So let me just use some nifty looking colors here. Make this look nice. I'm going to do 2x. And I'm going to subtract off 2x. And what do I end up with? No, no, no. It's just 2x. Take away 2x is? Zero. Zero x. Right. So they disappear. Okay. The x's have been eliminated. Okay. If we do the y's, what is negative 5y? Subtract 20y. You can use a calculator if you need. So negative 5y, take away 20y. Oh, if you like to screw 15. Say, so I'm doing, well, I'm subtracting minus positive 20y. Oh, because that makes it a negative. Yeah, so it's, yeah, yes, yes. So what is it? Negative 25y. Okay, now this is where if you're not comfortable with this, then you should be using your calculator. We've got 12, and we're going to subtract off. What's the last one? 12, and we're going to subtract off 18. Sorry, we're going to subtract. I need to say that right. 12, subtract, negative 18. What's 12? Take away negative 18. It's Positive 30, right. So we've eliminated the x variable, okay? And we've ended up with just the y's. So if I want to find out what y is equal to, what do I need to divide both sides by? Negative 25, right. So I end up with y equals negative 30 over 25. Hey, Bella. Right, let's simplify this fraction. 30 over 25 is the same as? Um, five, 6 over 5. Yeah.
Right, and to find x, it's the same as before. We just substitute our value for y into one of the equations. Now obviously, we want to pick the one that is easiest. Which one do you want to sub it into? Top one or bottom one? Uh, the top one. Okay. I would prefer the bottom, but let's put it into... What's a negative times a negative? Positive. What is 5 times 6 over 5? Uh, 30 over 5. 30 over 5. What is 30 over 5 the same as? 6. Right, so that's just plus 6. Then I can subtract 6 from both sides. We'll go through this pretty fast because we should all be fairly confident with this. So that gives us x equals 6. x equals 3, sorry. Okay, it's important to realize that it doesn't have to be the x's that you can eliminate. You can also eliminate the y's. In this case, it would be a little bit more tricky and we need to do something else first, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And you don't always have to subtract in order to eliminate them, okay? So we'll show what I mean with the next example. If you uh, are copying, came in late, then uh, this will be on YouTube, you can have a look at it, okay, so just watch for now. Let's have a look at this second one. I'll kind of get us started on it, and then you can finish it off. But if I want to eliminate either the X's or Y's, what is the problem here? If I... Yes, Sienna? Um, well, neither of them are the same values, yes, the Right, okay, neither of them are the same values. So, for example, don't write this down, okay? If I was to add these together, I would get 6x plus 8y equals 44. That does not help us any, okay? Because I've got both x's and y's, all right? If I was to subtract them, I would have, what's 2x take away 4x? 2x. Negative 2x. Negative 2x. Negative 2x. 5y take away 3y is? Okay, and that would equal... Four, that doesn't make any things any easier, okay? The whole aim of adding or subtracting them is to get rid of either the X's or Y's, okay? So Sienna said that we would have to maybe do something first. What could we do if I label these? Let's call this equation one and equation two. Zavi? Could you Right, if we multiply all the top one by 2, let's see what we get. So we would have 2x times 2 is? 5y times 2 is? And then 24 times 2 is? Okay, and we've got our other equation, which is 4x plus 3y equals 20. We don't need to do anything to that because we notice that our x's are the same. So how do I eliminate the x's? Just by subtracting. subtracting, okay? Now, I'll let you finish in a second. How could I get rid of the Y's if I wanted? Stop writing. How could I get rid of the Y's? I need to do some multiplying. Come on, is it just Sienna that's uh, partaking in this? Multiplying. Multiplying? Yeah, you can do different, yep. If I multiply this equation by something, I have to multiply the whole thing by it. But I can multiply this whole thing by a different number. Yeah. Uh, Daphne? You can multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 5. Right, good. If I multiply the top by 3, I'm going to end up with 15y. If I multiply the bottom by 5, I end up with a 15y, and then that would mean I could eliminate the y's. Good. Okay, so it's just good... To keep that in mind, okay? Let's see if you can finish this one off for me. And um, once you do that, have a go at B, um, okay? Let's look at B. Um, let's do this. Let's hear how people did it, and then let's do it a different way. 
<laughs> so, what did everybody do? All right, Maya, what did you do? Yep. Right, so Maya multiplied everything by 3, and then the bottom by 5. That meant that we had 15 x's. That got rid of the x's. That's absolutely fine. Did you have to add or subtract? Okay, you subtracted. That's fine. Did anybody do anything different? Oh, uh, what did you do? Yep. Because I only multiplied the five by three. Okay. Same thing for the bottom one. I only multiplied the three by five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you multiply the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. And then okay. it just ended up negative eleven y equals eleven, and then it still ended up as y equals negative. Okay. Well, that must have been just a coincidence. Yeah. Let's do it like this. Okay. Now, um, I don't mind whichever way you do it, but I'm going to do this diff by. I'm going to multiply this one by. Uh, let's uh, four, and I'm going to multiply this one by negative seven. Okay, and if you didn't do it like this, it is absolutely fine. I want to do it like this just to show that it doesn't matter how you do it. Okay, now working through like this, let's multiply the top one by four. Tell me what we get. Yes. Yep. Minus y equals. equals. 108. 108. Thank you, Brandon. Right. Shh, settle down. Multiplying the second one by negative 7. Negative 21x. Plus, because it's negative times a negative. 28y equals negative 112. Now, can somebody, I've had, listen, I've heard somebody ask, why am I doing it this way? Can somebody explain why am I, why am I doing it this way, Maya? To show that both ways work, okay? Now, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, okay? I would do it the way that you did it, but I want you to see that it doesn't matter, okay? And it's a good idea to, to make sure that you can do both. All right, at this point, what does it look like I'm going to be able to get rid of? The X's or the Y's? The y's. Am I going to subtract or add the y's? I'm going to add the y, add everything together. Good. Because if I do it, let's change into this pen. Okay. If I add 20x, add negative 21x, what do I end up with? I end up with negative negative 1x, okay? Because it's 20 add negative 21x. If I add together, shh, negative 28y, add 28y, I end up with zero. Zero, right, so they're eliminated. And then the last part, if I add together, come on, let's change. 108, add negative 112. I end up with negative 4. Right, so if negative x equals negative 4, what does x equal? 1, 4. 4. Positive 4, okay. Hands up if you've got x equals 4. All right, good. Now, I can substitute this into... Any one of these equations, which one shall I substitute it into? 5x minus 4x minus 7y equals 20. which one? 5x minus 7y equals 20. Okay, I'll substitute it into That's that one. I so I end up with 20, <laughs> take away 7y equals 27. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. I end up with negative 7y equals 7. <coughs> So that tells me that y equals negative 1. Hands up if you got that correct. Doing it your way. Okay, good. Okay. All right, the easiest thing. What is the easiest thing to multiply both of these by? Two. Two and three. Two and three. Two and three, right. So, or three and two. Why is that the easiest? Because it gets rid of the fractions. 
because it gets rid of the fraction, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to do it this way, but it just means it's a bit easier. Multiply the top one by 3, what do you get, Bella? 6x minus 9y equals 3. Okay, multiply the bottom one by 2, what do you get? Have you done it, uh, Leila? Um, yeah, sorry, what did I do? Okay, so then I put 6x minus 9y equals 3, and then I put 2. And then we, are we going to add or subtract, Daphne? Subtract because that gets rid of the six x's. Nine y take away ten y is minus nineteen y. Three take away three is zero. Shh. So Jojo, what is y equal? Y equals. Yeah, well, we've been working through it. Okay, like this is getting really frustrating, guys. Come on. Zero. Right. So it equals zero. And then I can substitute it back in. I'll put it into the first one. So 6x equals 3. Divide both sides by 6. And I end up with x equals... Maya? Uh, one half. 1 half. 3 over 6 or 1 half. 